Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to another Daily Scuttlebutt with Ivy's Family Factotum. Family and friends, good morning. It's Friday. It's Friday, Friday, Friday. Funky Fresh Friday. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> uh, don't ask me what that is. Uh, I, I guess I'm a little, I am a little under the weather. I, I can feel it in my throat. Because <clears throat> Mama's been sick. She was sick before she even came up to visit. Dropped stuff off, so she brought her sickness with her. Thank you, Mom. I appreciate it. <laughs> but so far, the, the kiddos have not gotten sick. Fingers crossed, Gladys doesn't get sick because she's already immune compromised. And she's already, you know, with the incisions and all the stuff from the surgery, you know, her body's already going to be fighting that of keeping that, you know, healthy and, and, and such to where she's fighting off any type of bacteria from that. So she cannot afford to get sick. So... Friday, what's on the agenda for today? Today, today. Power. Uh, I, I need to get the power poles and stuff put in. So, yesterday, oh man, I, I got so upset yesterday, which I'm going to, so the video that I'm actually going to record today is going to come out before It'll probably be Monday's video, and it'll come out before the video that I recorded yesterday. Just for a few reasons, right? It's because the stuff that I was recording, not everything I was able to put into the video, because it's going to be more of like a how-to um, type video, and a lot of the stuff that I recorded yesterday only about half of it I could use for the how to because the other parts is more like family vlog which is what we are family vlog so but I still want to utilize that that data you know I still want to utilize that stuff because oh I was so heated I was heated yesterday like so upset <laughs> Because this one of the things that has always been my pet peeve, and I know that you know here in Arkansas that you know whenever it comes to domesticated pets and, and animals and, and such that there's there's really no control, right? There's there's no like some other states, right? They'll, they'll have like a leash law, or they'll have you know your your animal has to have you know, uh, like for instance, Virginia Beach, to be able to take your dog out in public, they had to have been registered through the the city. Okay, but they also have to have rabies. They also have they have you know all their other and uh, shots and like all those things, right? And then you take it to one of the places where you where you have to register that dog, and they give you a tag. That tag has to be visible whenever your dog is in public. <clears throat> right? Well, they don't do anything like that here. And dogs are just allowed to just go out and do whatever the hell they want to do. You know, like they're a non-domesticated animal. Like just out being free and wild. So, I don't know what kill over there. Um, I need to clean my glasses because they're horrible. I apologize. I'm not trying to, to squirrel it up here, but, um, so some things that happened at, at the property, at the RV, that I was not, not happy with, right? So, obviously dogs are going to go around, especially male dogs are going to go around. And they're going to mark territory. So, 
right now being on the the property that we are at now you know living obviously it's not our property i'm living at a friend's property so his dogs you know he has a male and a female and the male will come and pee on the tires and, and pee on stuff and if you have anything outside you know that's fabric or just anything that the dog can carry for instance my camera right i have a, a video adventures with ruby because she came and took my camera took off with it and um you know and that's just it's stuff that i don't like but I'm living on his property. I'm living on those dogs' property, right? So they're going to mark their property. So it's on their property. They're going to mark it. They're going to do their stuff with it. Well, now that we're on our own property, it is our property, not those dogs' property or neighbor neighborly dogs' property, right? Because the property sat vacant for a long time. So a lot of those dogs would go into that property, right, and claim it as theirs. That is their property. Well, now that it's not, <laughs> we still have the issue of these dogs coming into this property and, and marking stuff, peeing on stuff, and even pooping on stuff. So, yeah. That video will come out Monday. And then the, the how-to will come out Wednesday. So, oh, oh, yeah, I was heated. Heated. So, I don't want to have to shoot somebody's dog. I really do not. But it comes down to that. And that's even one of those things where if a dog comes onto my property... I can claim that dog, it, regardless if it has a tag on it or not. If that dog comes onto my property, I can take that tag off. I can put that dog into a kennel, or I can I can leash up that dog to not allow it to leave, take care of it, to make it my own. And nothing anybody can do about it. Because it's, it came on, because they don't have any type of leash laws. So... That's one of those things, you know, that, and I know that other, other people have had issues, right? Like Jeff, you know, over at the Groovery Eggs, um, which his old channel's Bobblehead. Um, so, uh, like he, he's had almost his entire flock killed, right? And that, and that's his livelihood. That's what he does for a living is chickens. And he's had the issue with neighbor's dogs coming over and killing his flocks. And no, hell no. You know, I've, I've already said that, you know, we're, we plan on having some livestock. We plan on having stuff. And we are already having issues with, with dogs. And we don't even live there yet. We don't even have anything on a property that they should even be coming there for. So, yeah, crazy. That <laughs> I, I really don't know what else to say about that, but um, in the event that I do have to do anything like that, I, I probably will not be making stuff like that public, but um, just know that, you know, that's kind of what's going on and that. Obviously, I, I I don't mind going to to talk, you know, to the, the neighbors and stuff like that. But with the laws that are in place, I already know that they're like, well, if you got to shoot them, shoot them. And kids, they're they're not gonna, you know, keep their their dogs on a leash, or they're not gonna keep their dogs, you know, in a kennel or or anything. So. If dogs run amok, dogs run amok. Come out of my property and keep doing what you're doing. You're not going to be doing it no more. Because I'm going to take care of it. So, yeah, that's that. On a positive side, Gladys is feeling okay. She's getting better each day. 
Um, still in a lot of pain, still a lot of soreness. But I know last night she said, because she does get up in the middle of the night because she still has to take her medication, top of the hour, bottom of the hour. So that means noon, six to night, midnight, six in the morning. And, you know, so whenever she gets up at the midnight time, she'll go use the restroom and, and such. And last night she said it was it was easier to get out of bed and to go use the restroom than the previous night. So, all right. That's good. And she still gets up. She still walks. Um, came to the property. Wanted to do a little more than what she should be doing. So I told her no. <laughs> and, but she got a chance to sit down and relax and, and such. But she is supposed to be getting up every hour to walk. So that, that's doctor's orders. It's supposed to be getting up every every hour and walking for at least 10 minutes. So, um, at least, yeah. So, if, if she's able to walk a little more, you know, they still want her to be taking it easy. But that, that's kind of what helps, though, with, you know, preventing, like, the blood clots and stuff like that in her legs. Just been able to get the blood flowing, getting it moving, going, and all those things. So anytime surgeries, right, you have surgeries, because that, that's actually one of the things that had killed my, my grandfather on my dad's side was blood clots from a surgery. So, well, first he had an infection, right? So, because he did a knee surgery, a knee surgery, they got infected, they had to go back in, redo the surgery, and then... Ended up having, you know, blood clots and just other other things like that happen into his knee. And it, he just couldn't recover from it. So, um, yeah, I think that's about it. So today, uh, power day, the, the video for glasses surgery, surgery day is coming out today, 3 p.m. So make sure your notifications are turned off for that. Definitely greatly appreciated. <coughs> um... Oh, I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start taking some medication because I cannot afford to get sick. And today is power day, so I'm gonna be doing the the stuff of installing the, the poles and then talking about that dog issue. So, ah, oh, yeah, it is what it is. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and jump off here. Um. I got some, I got stuff to, I need to get done. I actually need to get into the store so I can get some stuff for me and for Gladys and for the kids. Um, and, and things, you know, from like the pharmacy and whatnot. But we definitely appreciate y'all uh, following the journey. Just, yeah, we're, we're closer each day. We're, we're almost halfway into our uh, hours required. So last time I looked, we were like almost right at 1900. So it, it keeps growing, it keeps growing. And that's good. It's the, the numbers keep going up and we definitely appreciate that. So um, hopefully with these next couple of videos, cause they're, they're a little bit longer, you know, Gladys's uh, surgery video is a little bit longer. The, the how to video is going to be a little bit longer. I think that ended up being around 49 minutes. So. I know that those will help. But, all right, y'all. Definitely appreciate it. Last but not least, remember to always thank a veteran at every chance you get, not only on Veterans Day, and we'll see you on the next one. Later, y'all.